As a story-based company, we talk a lot about objectives and tactics and seeking different results. Here's another way that way of thinking affects how we do what we do. Personally, I'm an interviewer. It's one of my skills that I trade on and it's a skill that I utilize a lot for projects here at Story First. As an interviewer, your objective is to elicit responses from your interview subject. I'm there to get the comment. I'm there to provoke some sort of interesting reaction or insight from the person I'm talking to. With this being the objective, the questions themselves don't matter at all. It's the responses they elicit that matter. It's also why I'm against predetermined lists of questions. It's much better to have a goal or an objective you're going after in the interview and then find your way there. You also have to be willing to sound stupid and ask stupid sounding questions because the questions don't matter. So for example, we just wrapped the project for Habitat for Humanity and I was asking folks who now live in Habitat homes, why was it important to them to, to find a home? What, why, why is it, what is so special about having a home? Which in normal conversation sounds obscene and stupid. It's like asking somebody why water is important. But in the craft of interviewing, that's totally missing the point. It's not about what I ask them. It's about what I get them to share with us. That's the art of interviewing. It's why you can watch interviewers from Bill Moyers to Charlie Rose to Katie Couric to Errol Morris, and you can sense a different style from each of them. What unites them is their common objective to elicit responses from their subject. What makes them all gloriously unique is how they get there.